Hi all, welcome to Sparky's Workshop once again. Um, today I'm just going to do a quick one that's been requested by um, a viewer who viewed my video of um, removing the carburetor from the CBR125 where I stripped the white right down to get the carb off. And he's asked, <laughs> can I do a video on stripping the carb down? Well luckily I've got a spare carb. So this is a spare carburetor which has been cleaned because <laughs> I cleaned it when I uh, bought it as a spare. So it won't look anything like yours looks when you take it apart because it's all going to be nice and shiny and clean inside. But we'll go through it and we'll show you what you've got to do. So when you get the carb off, obviously your float bowl here is going to be full of petrol. So to drain that petrol you've got a spout there See the spout where the screwdriver is? Just there? Yep. Yeah. And there's a screw below it. And you undo that screw. And as you undo that, the petrol will flow out of there. So make sure you've got a little can or something underneath it to catch that. Okay? Next thing is to remove the bowl. We've got three screws. One. and three. Now before you take this bowl off or before you even think about cleaning the carb please make sure you buy a new gasket for in there. This one needs one because it's look can you see that? It's not very well that gasket it's all torn and what have you so make sure you purchase a new one of those about 12 quid. There so these are floats and your float goes onto a little needle valve. Oh, get that in there. There's your floats. And the needle valve is just below it in there. And as it does that, so it lets pet fuel in, and as it floats back up, it shuts the fuel off. So we're going to remove the float, which is just pull that pin out. Very difficult, you know, doing this. Yeah. Pull that pin out there, lift the float off like so. And the needle valve is not attached but it slides onto the float. So can you see that? It's just hanging there. The needle valve just hanging. Yeah. We we'll put that down carefully. Like so. In that bowl, yours, see that's nice and clean. But yours will be full of sediment and muck probably. So the thing to do with that, get yourself some carb cleaner. Spray it in there, sort of half fill the bowl if you like with carb cleaner. And I'll tell you why. Because we're going to remove the jets. That one there is the idle jet. She was going to pick all this up really particularly well. This one here is the idle jet, so we'll take that out. So, there's your idle jet. Got quite a long stem on it. That's it. That's a bit of picture. Right. So we bung that in there. We pretend that's full of carb cleaner. This one's the main jet. Somebody's tightened up too tight by looks of it. There we go. There's the main jet. Bung that in there as well to soak. So that's the bottom of the carb. Then we're going to take the top off, which is the pneumatic part which operates the slider in there. Can you see that? There's the slider. And that, there's a diaphragm in the top which operates that pneumatically with air, if you like. Let's hold on with two screws. That comes off. Big long spring. Don't you lose your spring. Big long spring. See that? Top's got nothing in it. And there's your diaphragm. 
I'm going to lift that out. So that comes out. Yeah. And then this diaphragm, this piece here, if you want to check around it, make sure there's no splits. Hold it up to daylight. I've got a window just there, so you can hold it up to daylight. I just gently stretch it, make sure there's no holes in it. If all that's good, then we'll pop that there. Next thing is to remove where the choke goes. Choke's there. You've already removed that out of there, the slider, when you took the carb off. So remove that. Two screws. Again, really, you should get a nice new gasket for this because there's a gasket behind here. There's the gasket. Nicely in there. So you should get a new one, but that's up to you. I'm trying to accelerate a pump bit there. If you really want to get into cleaning the whole lot, but generally main jet and pilot jet and clean the bowl out should suffice. And this one's got a huge spring bowl on it. And there's another diaphragm there. Sounds like an accelerator pump type thing. So that comes out, and then you've got to check that diaphragm as well. Little tiny diaphragm there. Just check around it again, make sure there's no splits in it. So that's stripped it down basically. Air fuel mixture. Before we take that out, gently wind it in. To see what the setting is. So this one, winding, that's half a turn, one turn, one and a half turns. Okay, once you know the setting, you can take it roll the way out. And there's a little spring behind here, I believe, as far as I remember. Or is that? Right, is that sure? Air fuel mixture screw back down there for a clean again. Oh, the spring's still in there. There's the spring, which, when you put it back in, will go over there before you screw it in. Okay, that go for a clean, and right down inside, there is a tiny o ring. There's the tiny o-ring, put that on my finger, and you can see how tiny that is, it's a little tiny o-ring, that fits on the end of that mixture screw. Right, so that's how you strip it down, as I say, give everything, all these little holes here, squirt some carb cleaner down there, in here, all the little holes you see, in there. And it will obviously come out in other places. Down there, down there, everywhere you can see. Give it a good clean up. Clean the outside as well. We frightened to get all the grease and muck off the outside. And that's it. That's stripped it down. As I say, when you put it back together, make sure you use new gaskets if you can. Definitely on the bowl because they're prone to leaking. So. Let's quickly run through and stick it back together, shall we? So this one here, little tiny diaphragm, in first. Okay. Massive spring. So this is quite fun to fit. You've got to put the spring on. Press the spring right down. Hold it in place. Whatever you do. Don't let it go until you've got a screw in. Get one screw in to hold it. Pop another one in. Put 
the top. That's it. That's it back on. That's it there. Then we've got the choke side. Obviously give all that a spray. With car cleaner. Get it all nice and clean. Before we put it back on. That will only fit one way. screws once again don't over tighten these don't over tighten any screws on your card just pinch them up okay so that's that done put your bits and pieces about to soak take them out give them a little scrub with a scrubbing brush and just with the jets just hold them up to the light to see if you can see through little tiny hole there which obviously comes out there and make sure the two holes in the shaft are clear don't poke any wires down there please <laughs> what you can do is you can squirt some air if you've got a compressor obviously it's got some air down there or you can use some um, one of these sprays that you clean your keyboard with it just squirts air yeah so that'll clean that out perfectly well for you so your main jet, if we put that back in, you've got to put that in. Right, so it's the small spigot end first into there. Right, so you put that in, then you want your main jet, which is the funny little thing there, the tiny thing. That's just screws in the end. Screw that back in. And so you don't want to over tighten these, just pinch them up like so. Then your idle jet, which is this one, put it on the bit on, make sure it's all nice and clean, that goes in there next to it, screw that down, that's your jet's back in, before we go any further, we will get the mixture screw with its spring on, Bring on. There should be a washer, but we put that on there. Should be a washer to stop the spring hurting that little um, rubber. So that goes back in there. And remember what your setting was, obviously. You've written it down, obviously, haven't you? So we screw that back in, like so. Just until it pinches tight, or well, not tight, but just, it just pinches. And then one's one and a half. And there's a half, one and a half. There we go. So that's back to the setting it was at. You might have to fiddle about with that when you put the car back on the bike. And this is fiddly, this bit. So what I'm going to do is slide it onto the float first try and insert it in the hole as we go down then get the pin and then slide it through like so there we are that's all that fitted back in then obviously fit your new gasket around here which I haven't got because this is only a spare car and that back over there, put your screws back in, One. two, the bowl back on as I say don't wrench them up tight just pinch them next job is this one put your slide back in now that's got a tab on it you see that tab oh, a little tab sticking out there fits into a little cutout for the tab 
just there. So slide that in gently, don't force anything. If it doesn't go straight away, take it out and see why it doesn't go. Because <laughs> it should go quite easily. Make sure this is all tucked in. Like so. All tucked in around the edge there. And you get your big spring, big wobbly spring. That goes in there. The other end of it goes on the cap. The cap fits on the top. Put your screws back in. Just pinched once again, not over tightened. And there we are. The carburetor rebuilt. That's a quick strip down to show you how to strip it down to clean it and rebuild. And that's that. Simple as that. So this video is for, I think his uh, username is Atur. It's A-T-U-R. Half of about the H if you like. So that's for you. Hope it's been some help. Hope it's helped everyone that's watched. Cheers now. Bye bye.